friends, how are we doing? Today I'm just here to talk about pursuing a career in medicine, why I'm pursuing it, along with the negative aspects of the career that some people may not think about. Hopefully you guys get a little bit of value out of this, so let's get into it. For me, I feel whatever choices we make in life, or whatever career we decide to pursue, is usually really heavily motivated by our beliefs and values behind the decisions that we're making. And I think decisions that are derived from these beliefs and values actually help to enrich our lives overall and give us a little bit more of a sense of that contentment that we're all looking for. So I suppose in regards to medicine, for me, I've always been incredibly fascinated by biology, like the human body, how it wards off and fights this, how it functions, incredibly fascinating to me. And I think this stems back from probably biology class in about year 10. And initially I really struggled with it because I was I just couldn't quite grasp the idea of cells and how they were so small and how they had all these other little things inside them. But as soon as as soon as that concept really clicked in my brain, and all of a sudden I recognized that every being and every like person is made of these tiny cells that also have these tiny little structures inside them that make up these tiny little microscopic cells that we can't even see in the first place. To me, that absolutely blew my mind. Like, I could not believe it. And I think from then, it's really built upon this, like, everlasting, like, desire to achieve more of this knowledge and understand it to a greater degree and a greater depth, like, throughout my life. My desire to learn more just grew and grew from there on out, and it developed into this constant need to always be mentally stimulated with whatever I'm doing and be somewhat hands-on as well. And I think these two aspects in the beginnings really resonated well with me in the decision to choose to pursue a career in medicine and become a doctor ultimately. So later on down in my life, years and years, I started working in, in a pharmacy and this really started to kind of solidify and bring together all of these aspects in my life and all of these little things that were important to me that made me realize furthermore that this dream of becoming a doctor was something that I really needed to achieve and I was incredibly passionate about. Through working with chemists and getting a bit more of an idea of this, uh, how the health system works within Australia and all these different allied health systems and how they're all interconnected and play a really pivotal role, really opened my eyes and made me, and furthered this understanding that I had in my head that I realized that I really wanted to be a part of this and I really wanted to try and you know, make an impact and be able to give off like this positive beneficial impact throughout all of these different allied systems to ultimately bring about like a greater good and a good change for an individual's life. See, my opinion on this whole, you know, work to make a career, to earn a living, to provide for your family mentality that we're all fed, I really feel like my take on that is that if you're going to be working towards and you're going to be making a career out of something which ultimately is going to be taking up most of your waking hours day in and day out for like the best portion of your life then it's absolutely crucial that if you want to maintain that happiness and like that joy in other aspects of your life as well this big one chunk has to be something that you derive some kind of pleasure and enjoyment from However, in saying that, I understand that us as humans have this baseline level of happiness. And I recognize that although we may find this new job exciting and enjoyable for a while, eventually over time, we do mellow out and hit that baseline level again and return to that, you know, that sense of normality that we had leading up to and before the actual event. In saying that, my theory is that all individuals are trying to achieve some kind of value in some kind of contentment out of life through living in a way that aligns with their values and beliefs and if people are unhappy it's because they're usually working a life and representing a lifestyle that does not align with their core values and beliefs so if you manage to find yourself a career that is able to satiate your values and your beliefs and really hit that craving for contentment in your life then that's going to be enough for you to wake up each day in the morning and feel like what you're doing is working towards a goal and ultimately filling you with feelings of contentment and joy that are going to 
allow you to be a more beneficial and important figure and presence in your everyday life. Now working as a doctor, the fulfillment for me, it will mainly come from what I described earlier, those feelings of absolutely loving how the human body works and how it fights off its disease and the development of a new disease and all those little interworking systems and stuff that bring us into a state, all the different, all the different states really, that we feel throughout a day. Now I know this is going to sound corny and super cliche, but I also really enjoy that feeling of helping someone, but not so much from the point of view of, yes, I've helped them. It, this sounds probably really selfish and quite self-absorbed, but I really, really enjoy that warm kind of general feeling of satisfaction that you receive when you have potentially provided a beneficial impact to somebody's life. Now, I recognize that, <laughs> yes, being a doctor comes with a lot of perks. You get titles, you get prestige, you get lots of money, but it's important to recognize within yourself whether these materialistic accomplishments are worth the life sacrifices uh, necessary in order to essentially actualize these dreams of yours. Working as a doctor is incredibly stressful. You're working constant hours, like constant overtime, and you're just getting worked to the absolute bone for a big portion of your career. Like, it's a lifetime of learning. You go to work, you'll work 10, 12 hours, come home and then have to study because you have to stay on top of all of your clinical anatomy and physiology um, to be able to be a contender to specialize later on down the track. Now, when compared to other jobs, for their equivalent level of experience in the industry, interns actually have one of the highest burnout rates across all of these professions. This is mainly due in Australia, I'm not so much about in other countries, but just due to their complete overwork. And we have this culture here where if you're not working yourself to the bone and you're not skipping lunch breaks and you're not doing overtime, then you're showing to your higher ups who are ultimately the ones that decide if you get a job later on in your life and down your career path, that you're not interested and you're not willing to work and put in the hours in to become a good physician. Now, this is totally unsustainable and not healthy whatsoever. However, it is a result of the system due to an increased bottleneck of specialist positions for interns after they've been two, three, four years out of university. So I think taking all this on board, I think it's really, really crucial for you to actually understand why you want to be a doctor and more importantly as well, the motivations behind these reasonings. Now, this is a great first step. However, it's really important to recognize that these values and this lifestyle of being a doctor don't conflict with your overall thought out life vision. And like if you get there and you become a doctor, that's awesome, congratulations. However, if this is actually, you know, taking you away from those parts in your life that you deem just as important, if not more important, like spending time with family, spending time with friends and pursuing other interests, you're ultimately over time gonna be left dissatisfied and left with this general feeling of unhappiness and dissatisfaction. Like my ultimate goal is to live a happy life with a happy family and be there to provide and support them when needed. But I also wanna be available and I also really just wanna be present and I want to be there for them when I am needed. That's why it's really imperative to understand that pursuing a career as a doctor does have the potential to take you away from these life-centric values and beliefs that you've outlined for yourself in order to be a successful individual and live a life that you're happy with. This is why it's important to have not only life-centric values and beliefs, but also a career-centric values and beliefs, so that if the two are in conflict, you can lean back on one or the other and remember why you are pursuing either a life in medicine in the first place, or why you want to be a supportive, attentive, present person in your everyday life outside of your career. And that allows you to give somewhat of a balance. And if one is skewed to another way that you're not enjoying, you can realign it, balance it out, and ultimately still maintain that fulfillment and contentment in your life, which to me is like the whole point of living. Anyway, that's us for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in again. Sorry it was a bit of a rambly one, but I hope you guys managed to derive some bad benefit and some value out of watching. If you're new to the channel and got something out of this video, then make sure to check my other videos just like this one. 
and please as always don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down the bottom because it allows me to make more videos to give you guys a little bit more value in your life and ultimately I genuinely appreciate it because I love making these. If you want to see similar videos like this or you want me to explore a specific topic, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Alright guys, until next time, see ya.